Let's look at Microsoft Fabric, what it is and why it's so important to the future. Because if you've been exploring and using various data analytic solutions, you might think, oh, it's just another platform. You know, why should I just embrace it? Well, it's because it's Microsoft and everything that Microsoft touches lits up. I feel like this enhancement of Synapse plus Lakehouse approach is going to catch on faster than any other data analytic solution so far. So what is Microsoft Fabric? It's an end-to-end -end analytic solution that provides a comprehensive list of services that are suitable for data engineering, data science, real-time analytics, and business intelligence. All of these come together under one umbrella and one robust data security, governance, and compliance framework. And no more using separate analytics services from different vendors as Microsoft Fabric offers an only one solution that's ready to take out any potential competition by having the power to unify data from different sources and platforms and the platform also comes with copilot capabilities that are soon to be launched so you're going to be able to use large language models to help you with your coding directly in your workspace and another powerful capability is that Fabric helps you monitor your organization's data in real time and it can trigger actions based on data insights. And if you think about all these features, it looks very, very similar to what Databricks is offering. And Databricks sits on top of various cloud providers. Now that one of these three cloud providers created the solution, it may just be that the partnership between Azure and Databricks may suffer some changes. And I'm sure that they will continue collaborating, but now that Microsoft became a direct competitor on this niche, I'm sure that there will be some points of friction. So yes, like Microsoft Fabric and Databricks share similar functionalities, but it's still early to tell how this will play out. There's a lot more crossover now that there was with just signups and they're doing a lot more of the same stuff. But I feel like Databricks isn't going to fade away. I think in fact Databricks will continue to deliver advanced functionality and innovations and pretty much I'm bullish on both. But eventually one will overtake the other and I'm looking forward to see how this will play out. Another thing that I asked myself was also why Microsoft introduced something new instead of just fixing the issues that people had with signups. Because they had it on hold for quite a while, right? And they enhanced their partnership with Databricks and they just left signups there. But it might have just been a strategy to find out more about Databricks innovations while they were actually building Fabric. But I think Microsoft Fabric is just a normal evolution of Synapse and they needed a new name and a new push. It's a simplified software as a service solution that can connect to existing product offerings and it provides a more simple and integrated experience. So it's both an evolution, but still a new thing. So to wrap things up, Microsoft Fabric is another step forward towards a more integrated, a lake house oriented data analytics landscape. Maybe this is the final step that actually solidifies the lake house as the core piece in data analytics. And Databricks are well positioned to compete. But on the other hand, I feel like Snowflake, with their warehouse approach, we're going out of fashion faster now that Microsoft went for the lake house approach and will steer everybody, I think, in this direction. Whether you're a fan of Databricks, of Microsoft, or of Snowflake, you need to check out Fabric. You get a 60 day free trial now and I encourage you to take full advantage of it because this platform will only grow from here and soon I think it's going to become the standard. And you can sign up with your Power BI account or you can create a new one and get that free trial today. And that's it for me guys and if you found this video helpful, give it a like and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more data insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.